Hi everyone, I'm Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today's workout is going to be a full body band workout with handles. I chose my medium resistance band. We're gonna start standing up. We're gonna finish on the mat. We're gonna have a full body experience and let's get started. We're gonna start focusing on our shoulders. Make sure when you place the band, you have it on your instep of your feet. Your toes are gonna angle out oh so slightly. You're gonna bend both of your knees a little bit. You're gonna stay with bent knees, starting with right arm up for shoulder presses. Core is very tight. Also, I didn't even mention this in the intro. Everything will be done very, very slow. That's three. We're gonna do 20, so that means 10 on each arm alternating. Five. Six, also make sure you stay neutral with your neck. Seven. Eight. Core is really pulled in. Nine. 10. One, two, really stay focused, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, this is 20. Beautiful work. We're gonna go a little deeper with our knees, but only if it feels right for you. We're not gonna keep our chest like this. You're gonna keep your chest like this, bending both knees, coming up with both arms for shoulders for 20. This is two. Really, really pull those abs in. Please don't forget that. Three, four, Five, neutral neck, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Please stay with my count. Very important to do this workout slow. One. Two, three, keep that chest and shoulders up and back. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Do your best to not let the back help you. Nine, last one is gonna make 20. Beautiful, okay, left hand. Is, the palm is gonna be facing up. L-shaped arm, focusing on isolating the left bicep while we are staying low with bent knees and you're gonna lift the right arm with a slight bend in that right elbow for 12, so this is one. Really flex that left arm. And as you lift the band, make sure you are really tight with your right arm. Four, keep your body really still, except for the arm that's moving. Four, five, six. Remember that neutral neck, please. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, twelve. You're going to switch right palms facing up, tight, 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 right bicep up for twelve. There's one, two. 
three, please don't rush. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Nice. So we are going to be hips, hip, your feet are going to be hip width wide. Little bend in both knees. Alternating, pausing on the out for one second. Okay, we're going to alternate for 16. This is one. Core is tight. Hips are square. I'm just facing an angle at an angle. Three. Four. Five. Tight arms. Six. Seven. Eight. Neutral neck. Nine. Ten. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the last one. Nice. Okay, we're actually going to lunge. So, left foot is forward. Right leg is back. Our palms are going to face each other just like this. We will all be different with our lunges, okay? I do want you to focus on depth of your lunge. We're going to do 10 lunges. On the up of the lunge is what, what you're going to want to do is you're here, and then you're going to bring those bands up. So my band is like this on my arm, because if not, it's gonna snap forward like this, not gonna be feeling good. So 10 deep lunges up on the up, palms face, core is really tight, full body experience here. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 very slowly. There's one. Two, find a focal point, I'm looking out my window, I'm actually looking at the house next door, a wagon, a kid's little red wagon. That's what I'm looking at. Four, please don't drop your chest and shoulders. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and 10. Really, with the resistance of the band, feeling it in the left glute a ton. Okay, same thing, band under your right foot. For me, I always have a side that does seem easier. Okay, 10 lunges deep. Focus, focal point, core tight, shoulders back, chest up. Remember, slow, one, two, three, four, Neutral neck, five, six, seven, eight, nine,
and 10. Whew, nice work. Okay, back to both feet on the band. You're gonna crisscross your bands just like this. Okay, wait, actually I'm gonna angle this way. And we're gonna open up our arms, focusing on our back. Flat back, don't round, don't arch, neutral neck. Pulling the bands open, okay? Now, biggest thing is the neck. So please, if you start getting it in the neck, just stop the video, do a little stretch, very important. We're gonna pull the bands out for 12, slowly. Really evenly distribute your weight, but mainly put your weight in your heels, not in your knees. Okay, open up for 12. One, neutral neck. Two. Also, give yourself a little pause as you open the bands. Three, four, great move. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Oh, that was great. You're going to bend your bands. Don't hold the handles, hold the stretchy part. On this, we're actually going to go really, really wide with our legs. And when we come up from our deep toes angled out squat, we're going to pull the bands apart evenly. Don't let your right arm do the work, all the work. Don't let your left evenly really focus on both arms, hands, pulling the band. I'm right-handed, so my right hand is gonna be more dominant. Make sure the left, I have to make sure my left helps my right, or my, yeah, my left helps my right. Okay, so we're gonna drop down on the up, pulling the band, and keeping resistance on the band as you even come down. Don't lose resistance. Most of the resistance is up top when you pull the band apart, but keep resistance. So it's more of an isometric up top. Okay, we're gonna go up for 12. Focus on your flexibility, your form. Remember, don't rush. There's two. Three. Four. Five, please watch your neck. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, I can tell my hips are opening up, I love it. 10, two more, stay with it. 11, and 12, beautiful. So we're gonna do a couple more things standing up, more on biceps. Okay, so toes are not gonna angle out, they're gonna angle forward. Little bend in both the knees. You're gonna really keep your shoulder blades squeezed together. So it's like this. This is the start. See how the shoulder blades are really squeezed? And then we're, so my elbows are slightly behind my body. And I know some of you, if you're really built in your back, you might struggle with getting the elbows. It's a lot of flexibility on this, but just do your best. Just the biggest thing is keeping your shoulder blades squeezed together. So we're going to do these slow. We're gonna do 15, or no, yeah, 15 of them. Little bend in both knees, popping that chest up. Pausing on the up for a two second hold. So I'm gonna count this out. One, one. 
keep resistance on that band. Two, two, neutral neck. Three, three. Four, four. Five, five. If you're working with a really tight tension band, ay, 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 I feel for you. Six, six with that hold. Seven, seven. Eight. Eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, five more, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve. 13, 13, feeling it in the abs. 14, 14. 15, 15. Nice work, triceps. Beautiful work, everyone. Whew. Okay, triceps. Right here, we're gonna kick back. Pausing for three seconds on the out. So if you're working with a tight band, if you've got a less tight band, I would grab it. Really, really sink down. We're gonna to three second hold for 12. One, one, one. Two, two, two. Really extend those arms and focus on your triceps. Three, three, three. Four, 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 five, 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 six, six, six. Oh, I'm gonna feel this later. Oh. Seven, 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 eight, 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 Nine, nine, nine. Ten, ten, ten. Two more. Eleven, eleven, eleven. Last one. Twelve, twelve, twelve. Burn. Okay. Now, I didn't say this in the intro, but I'm sure you're working close to a wall. So if you are, or a railing or something, or grab, stop the video and grab a chair. We're gonna put some resistance on our outer, outer hips. So hold the band down lower. Your foot's gonna be flexed. Little bend in that knee. Staying with a little bend on the knee, doing your best to not lean over to the left. Very, very important. Little bend, pausing on the lift. Oh yeah. Also, I'm feeling this, depending on your range of motion, in the right oblique. Okay, up for 10. Keep that foot flexed so the band does not slip off one. Two, it's wrapping into the right glute also. Three, feeling it in the right bicep by holding onto the band. A lot going on here. Four. Five. Supporting leg, glute, and hamstring, getting fired up. Six. Seven. Eight. It's always good to work flexibility. Nine. 
Last one. And there's 10. Okay, I'm gonna go over to my wall because I guess I could do it with the, you'll just see the back of my body, which that's not fun. Okay. So by the time I said uh, 10, I, we probably already did four. So we're gonna do 14 on this side. Remember, we're not gonna lean over to the right. Little bend in that left knee, pausing on the lift. Oh, this side is much looser for me. Two. Also focus on engaging in your core. Three. All my yoga I've been doing is paying off. I love it. Four. I found a really amazing um, hamstring yoga by Sarah Beth Yoga. It's hamstrings and all you need is a strap and some type of um, bolster or I use a, actually a pillow. Amazing. It gets actually more than just the hamstrings, lower back, hips, it's amazing. 20 minutes, I do it almost every day. And I lost my count, let's say that was seven. Eight, oh yeah, the right, right glute, right hamstrings really getting fired up. Nine, we're gonna go on to our mats next. 10, four more. One, stay with it. Two, three, and four. Nice. Okay, let's get on our backs. Yay. Putting the band evenly, hip width apart on the bottom of your feet. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna hold mine down here because if I hold the handles, I'm not gonna have enough resistance. Sitting up nice and tall, flexing the feet so the band does not slip. I'm not gonna fully extend my arms straight. I'm gonna keep them L-shaped and then really squeezing the shoulder blades together. Neutral neck, pulling the band back for 12. Pausing on the back for a count, that's one. Actually, sitting up straight just like this can be difficult. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven. and 12, nice work, beautiful work. One foot, right foot has the band, left foot, nothing on your left foot. You're gonna pivot back a little bit, really, really bending that right leg and then pushing out, keeping the right foot really flexed, really getting resistance on the quad. I feel it in my hips, hip, core, especially right here, right here, right here. Keep that core tight. We're gonna push out now for eight. This is one. Two. Don't lock the knee as you push the band forward. Please leave a soft, like knee, leave the right knee, right knee soft. Five. Six, so you're opening up the right hip and then closing it as you push the band forward. Seven, last one. Eight, nice. Switch sides. Same thing, flex that left foot. Pivot back just a little bit. 
pushing the band or yeah, kicking the band forward for 12. This is one. Remember, don't lock that left knee. Two. Abs are pulled in, neutral neck, three. Four. Nice control, five. Six, my arms are tired. Good workout, seven. Eight. Nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Beautiful. We're going to lay now on our backs. Band's going to go just on our right foot. Left, left knee is going to stay bent. Neutral neck. We're going to focus on our hamstrings here. Don't lock the right knee and don't, yeah, don't lock the, oh my gosh, lock the right knee, but you're gonna feel resistance in your hamstrings. Make sure that foot is really flexed. And when you come up with the leg, the bottom of the foot, if you're able to have it facing up towards your ceiling. So from here, we're gonna do 10. This is one. Pulling the abs and pushing the back. Onto the mat, two, three, don't rush, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Ooh, good move. Felt it really, really big time in the core, too. Okay, pushing up for 12. One. Doing your best also to not spill out the right knee. Three. Make sure you're leaving a little bend in that knee on the up. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, and 12. Whew. We're going to do some chest flies. So where our bra, stra bra strap goes, girls, across our back, that's where you're going to want to have it. And guys, you're just going to have to play around with it if you are doing this workout. And you want to make sure you're really pushing the back onto the mat. So for me to have enough resistance, I'm gonna wrap my band, because um, if not, I will not feel this as much as I want to. So on the up of the fly, okay, so I'm here. My leg, I'm gonna do alternating legs out for my core, just like this. Now, if that's too much on your back, just do the flies, okay? If you're getting really tired. Okay, so here we go. Right leg first. We're gonna do 20 alternating on your legs. So 20 total with chest flies. That's one. Two, remember, slow. Three. Four, flex your chest too. Don't just do the movement tight. Five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, halfway, ten more, one, two, three, neutral neck, four, five, six, seven, feeling it in the chest, feeling it in the arms, eight, feeling it in the core, feeling it in the hip flexor, nine, this is 20, Nice work. So, I hope you enjoyed that workout as much as I did. Wow, that was awesome. My heart to your heart is always, have a wonderful self-care day. Please let me know what you thought of that workout. I would give it like a 10 out of 10. I loved it. I loved the slowness of it. I loved how I was really focused. And guess what, it was a full body workout. So please, um, if you haven't also subscribed, please subscribe. There's a little bell, click on that also if you want to. That will let you know when I do premiere a new video, which is normally four, five, or six a.m. Central Time. So have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.